Foz for seconds out here with JJ ahead of his fight with um, Jason Wellborn this weekend. How are you? Good, you? Not bad. Not bad. Sporting a bit of a uh, shining under the right eye there, lads. The right eye? The right eye. Dead bags there. That's just sleep bags. Is that a lack of sleep, is it? <laughs> yeah. You haven't been taking anything too heavy and sparring then, though? No. Looking forward to it? Is it time for you to kick on now? Definitely, yeah. It's been time for me to kick on for, for the past couple of years, but it hasn't happened, and hopefully this time it will happen. Um, obviously, you mentioned how frustra- out in the press conference how frustrated you've been yeah. with the lack of um, progression in your career. Obviously, you won that WBC International Silver title back in June last year. Um, you've had one fight since then. In April, you got a stoppage there, but is it? Where 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 are you at in your own mind now? Like you say, th- you thirty, you thirty now. You know you're not getting any younger. What what's it about? What's it about now? Just about the next fight. Every every time it's just about the next fight. I don't look past that. I'm gonna uh, you know my main focus is Jason Wellborn and winning the Commonwealth title. Uh, See what happens after that. You've had you've had your setbacks with obviously the Liam Williams issue, um, the injury that led to you having to withdraw from that fight and so on and so forth. Um, Jason Wellborn's coming off a defeat at world level. He's clearly still hungry from what he's saying in the press conference. Um, you're you're obviously looking to match that hunger and move move on to that world stage. Uh, do you feel like you should have already been there? I feel like I should, but I shouldn't as well because I haven't been in the fight, so I can't really say that. But, you know, I, I feel like I should have uh, been given more fights. And, you know, this stage in my career, 30, I should have been in bigger domestic fights as well. So, but it's happening now, so. It's happening now, and the plan and the plan for you would would of course be. I I would imagine to get to get out again before the end of the year, providing you win this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, looking looking twelve months ahead. I know you said you don't like to look ahead, but looking twelve months ahead, what's the plan? I have no plan. There's no plan. It's just when every fight that gets put up, and hopefully. And you, and obviously Jason Wellborn's in the way this weekend. Are you looking to put, you stopped Damon Jones at the first direct arena last time you boxed here. Are you looking to put on a similar performance? Yeah, I can't go insane. I'm going to stop because no one knows what's going to happen in a fight. You know what I mean? It's like you can sit there and say, I'm going to knock him up first round 100%, but it's just, it's just words. You train him. You train him with George Schofield now, aren't you? Yeah, my dad. And your dad, yeah. Schofield, yeah. yeah t- tell us a little bit about that transition because obviously you were with Joe McNally and John Gillies, and now you've gone back to your dad with. Yeah, it was with um, George Vaughan. George and Terry, yeah. yeah. My dad and uh, my dad's always trained me since George. Yeah. He, he sort of trained me as well when George was there, but um, then I ended up with three days in John Gillies and Joe McNally and three days with my dad. Yeah. And then you know, something happened with the gym there and I ended up just going with my dad then full time. And do you find that obviously with it being your dad, do you find that you gel with him better and um, yeah, we just have an understanding between us. You know, he's been there and done it, and he knows what it takes to, to do that. So the training puts you through is hard. And, um, but dad and lad that goes out the window when you're in the gym, it's just, you know, it's professional.